and we are live now on youtube and yes, uh, you know a lot of our students are really keen to understand <coughs> on how our students got jobs into different uh, streams in different companies in data basically right and uh, you are from non it background jamil right you are from electronics background and yes, communication sir. despite that you got into this field of data science through your hard work commitment and dedication i am i have no doubt about that because i have closely seen you work as a this intern as uh, the junior trainer as well so how was your preparation like uh, jamil and how was this transition from non it background into data science which is the most covert field which is most sought after field currently Can you exactly. throw some light and explain us, please? So, sir, if I if I can take a um, couple of minutes to explain, okay. like why? So, the the reason was when I first started my uh, journey in data science, I actually did not have any idea. Like, I did not even know what data actually means and what data science is. So, I just you know got to know about okay, there is this kind of a course. If we do this, then we can you know get a job. so i didn't i didn't know exactly what a data scientist will be doing or what a data analyst will be doing so so with with no basic uh, understanding of this i just joined this course uh, ganesh <laughs> really helped me to get into this course at the time and uh, instructor for really really good uh, i actually took a uh, baby steps when i started my journey in this. so i did not have any uh, coding background i did not understand python uh, it was i was really uh, fearful of python so at that time one of the ma'am told me that okay like if you are not able to understand python then this r will be really helpful for you you can you know start your journey from r so <clears throat> what i did was i started to learn r in the beginning so all the algorithms uh, the basic background of the algorithm i started to understand step by step uh my other uh, friends who were along with me in that batch they were able to understand each and everything because they were newly freshly graduated and uh, they were quite fast faster than me but i actually took lot of time to understand each and every algorithm uh the ma'am was all, was also able to you know explain me each and everything so i first learned r in a thorough manner uh that are help me to understand the algorithms in a much better way so i got a very good understanding of the uh, each and every algorithms from the r package itself then moving forward i started to learn python once i have completed the course then uh i started to learn from the basics of python uh, started to do coding in it uh, when i started then i felt okay this is you know quite similar to r but it required some more uh, you know hands on experience that i require in this so in that way i actually started my journey in data science and then i started to understand okay data science means you know this will be a person who is going to do the predictive analytics or statistical modeling or a person who is going to build a end to end comprehensive business solutions to the large corporations organizations mm -hmm. so that that was my starting point when i you know got into data data science uh, job as well here when i see when i look back from where i started i clearly i you know uh, uh, sometimes feel you know very happy that okay i did really took a good step uh, rather than you know just dropping down dropping in between the course and then taking some other courses so i i feel really good that i have taken the right Absolutely. decision at that time absolutely jammi And Jamil, you have also worked as an intern with Inno Data Takes, and then you have worked on few projects. Then you became the trainer. How was your experience like working with Inno Data Takes as an intern? Do you think it actually helped you in getting a job? Or yeah, I I want your uh, experience to be known it, to our folks. Actually, it did really help me to understand uh, when I was working on the projects. Uh, I got to know what is. a business problem so how you define a business business problem and uh, in how many different directions we have to first understand a business problem what kind of uh, uh, data you would require from the client so this kind of uh, you know information or prerequisites are very important uh, when you 
when you get into any project so you know even if i have a project in my company right now then these are the kind of prerequisites that we ask to the client you know these are required for us to you know start in the beginning so working on those projects help me to understand or uh, you know gather the information from from those projects like that that help me to train myself okay these things are required for me so base basic structure of the project how to start it and how to end it i got to learn from uh, you know working as the uh, trainer or working as on the projects from inner data tech that experience was really helpful and it still you know helped me in any project that i take up in pwc and you know when i speak to the clients you know they are okay so these are the prerequisite data that you really require as a yes they are required for moving on into the project or else uh, if we define it at the end uh, that's going to be no use for us wonderful absolutely jamik and yesterday i was interviewing pradyumna i i, I still remember you and pradyumna both of you all have jointly uh, joined the bengaluru office from hyderabad yes. right yes, and he was also saying that you know what i'm really happy that 90% of our folks have got jobs from our batch and things of that yes. kind so okay and one final question uh, jamil if you were to give only one single most important suggestion to our students on how to get into this field of data science what would that be so my suggestion right now with the trend that with that i see in data science jobs is the prerequisite is python mandatory uh, when i when i took the course or when i joined the company r and python even if you know like 30 40% that's okay but right now it's very must one has to have a thorough knowledge of python uh, it's like you know if you want to get into intermediate you need to attend standard certificate so python is like you have to learn it and apart from that uh, one uh, what we say uh, uh, reporting tool power bi or tableau is a must and uh, one cloud technology is really must so if a person if a hiring even if a required even if i when i do uh, when i do interview for pwc i definitely look for if a person is capable in python then not of eit if is able to you know do some kind of programming and if he has a reporting tool experience like power bi or tableau or altrix and uh, uh, cloud technology like if he if he has any hands on experience in sage maker or uh, uh, microsoft azure tools then we like tick it off okay he he knows all these things then we can push him to the second round so Uh-huh. right now this is this is definitely required uh, in every organization even if it's a big four or even if it's a tier 2 companies or tier 3 companies it's mandatorily it's required absolutely wonderful and our code structure <laughs> luckily is devised in that way and we included all the four cloud platforms machine learning on aws machine learning on azure machine learning on gcp and ibm people are going to train our students on ibm uh, machine learning on cloud which is ibm cognitive uh, cloud so yep so i think we are well covered from that standpoint and uh, i also want to tell you jamil that now we have our students working in deloitte power what of scoopers ernst and young and kpmg that means they are there in all the big all the big ones fantastic one that's yeah. your achievement sir i mean i have to congratulate you because the one thing that i really like to learn from you is your management skill which is also required for every uh, individual they they require management skills as well so i would really like to learn more from you that thank you thank you so much jamil and i'm hoping that you'll interview a lot of 360 digitmi students right <laughs> moving forward because you are there on the interview panel yeah thank you so much jamil for your time and um, do stay in touch i'm sure we will stay in touch Thank you thank you so much and all the best for your career. Thank you sir thank you so much for you sir for giving thank me the opportunity to work with you. Thank you so much Jamil.